Tasman V1000 variometer. To turn it on, press the power button for a second. It's currently displaying the, uh, the vario indication as the uh, dial on the outside and the averager is in the middle. You can also have the middle display the instantaneous if you want to, but right now it's set to the average. To adjust the volume, press the plus button to increase it to vo volume 5 or decrease it down to volume 1 and 0. Check battery voltage, press both buttons at the same time. To change the average of display, get into the function mode by pressing holding the function button and change from slow to fast. Fast is instantaneous change of the uh, number in the middle of the screen. I'll change that back. The full scale range is currently set to 10. We can change it to 5 if we want it to be more sensitive. You can also change the response time of the variometer. You can set it anywhere from 1 to 7. A 1 is a 1 second response time. 2 would be a 1.5 second response time, 3 would be a 2 second response time, the default is 3. There are also some sync tone settings you can adjust. The default is to have a 2 knot dead band, that's with the uh, tone set to T2. I'll change the response to fast so we can see how that functions. So if I go positive, it has a normal positive tone. If I go negative, there's no tone from zero to two knots down. And below that we get a sync tone. Or you can have it with no sync tone, which would be T1. Or you can have it with no dead band, but, but both lift and sync tones, which would be T3. I prefer T2. Which has a dead band from 0 to minus 2 knots. To turn off the variometer, just press and hold the power button for 2 seconds. Here in my demo stand you can see a few of the accessories for the uh, Tasman variometer. A couple other items sold by Tasman. This is the Tasman V1000 here. It's popular because it's small. It's simple to install because the speaker is built in. It's nice because it has the averager right on the front of the display, which uh, not all Varios have. Um, 
This is the optional second seat repeater. Not a bad priced option for uh, two seat gliders. Just a simple cable between the two for installation, very simple. This is the optional external speaker. There is a built-in speaker, but if you want a speaker back behind your head, you can buy that as an option. Uh, this is the optional battery backup option. It uses a 9-volt battery. The power runs to the power box and then from there to the Tasman. If the main power dies, it will automatically switch over to run on the battery. It's smart enough to know if it's sitting on the ground for a period of time, it will automatically shut off and not deplete the battery. This other option over here is called a TB32 Echo sound alarm. And what that does is you would wire that into your landing gear and your air brake and instead of having a buzzer go off, if, you're, uh, if you open the air brakes while your landing gear is up, instead of a buzzer, you record your own voice saying whatever you want to. In this case, I recorded my wife's voice. The gear is up, lower landing gear. The gear is up, lower landing gear. The gear is up, lower landing gear.